another video if you are tuning in for the first time welcome and we hope you will stick around and join our small family and you will subscribe please and just leave us just like that we are growing your support will be appreciated Thank you so much guys we, we finally reached 100 subs mid-april and it is only because of your support thank you so much i really appreciate it and today i was requested to do a sit down video by a lot of people a number of people from starting from facebook instagram whatsapp and youtube people have been asking me to do this breakdown of the house details um how we started when we started how much went into the project and also the details of the people that we used for for our for our house and also well mostly it's the measurements or the house plan that's that's how i that's how i perceived most of the questions it's it's it's, it's the house plan or measurements of the actual house and some people have been requesting a house tour and i will try and deliver my people i will try but now i am deciding that i am doing this video it does not it does not matter how many setbacks i had experienced for this video it does not matter i will sit down and i will talk to you guys i will break it down whichever way i can i do not get a video a video tour for the bedrooms our bedroom the second bedroom the bathroom at the back and the garage uh however i will try and I, I i will see what to do with that but for now we do not have it before we get on to the house plan and the house breakdown i want to answer guys a few questions from the people when did we start the house project we started the house project back in 2020 and the actual month was the a the fourth month of 2020 i was i was four months pregnant at the time i think so i was four no not four months i think six six months i think it was six months i was six months pregnant at the time and we had just gotten the announcement the lockdown because i think it was in march so april may yeah so yeah that's that's around the time we started doing a, a project here too that's when we started and someone will ask why would you start building in the middle of lockdown especially had lockdown because there was no movement at the time like we were also stuck in the eastern cape we came this side for a visit and it was it was the week when we were supposed to come and bring the news to our parents, um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law. And we decided to come and share the news that we are pregnant. And just when we were this side, we were on lockdown and we could not move. So we stayed this side for the whole month. And that is when we basically decided on starting it was unplanned mind you it was unplanned it was not saved for like there were no savings for the house there was no budget whatsoever but we thought we need a house we need our own space there's a baby coming who well let, let me not say who would build during that process no some people do it some people would do it and some people are doing it even now because if finances are looking that good so in our case finances were not looking good at all i will not lie to you guys finances were not on our side but we did it anyway because um well one of the reasons why we were not in a good space at that time was the fact that Uhabi had just gone to my family to pay for Ilobola. So imagine his e savings is a Ilobola and then a few months down the line, you guys get pregnant, unplanned, 
we got married anyway so getting pregnant at that time was not a good was not a good step for us but it happened but we were happy because it was it was like a miracle to us because you know because of the circumstances that we were in and um well we thought we were in and now starting a play 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 near house was not a one day decision but hubby studied a, a, a situation man back home when when we visit as a couple and as a as a pregnant as a pregnant lady as a pregnant makoti for that matter and not just a, a, a pregnant makoti a fresh makoti because i was fairly young i was fairly new i was still learning things and i had not even gone through the process of water i was supposed to water um in december but you know how december is and so I was still umdanakamama in Like I, I, I had not even been out with abanyo sebenza and all of that. Then sebenza only in Like my, 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 my husband's home. That was the only place I could, I, I, I could, I, I could go to. So, guys, I'm rambling, but um, I'm trying to. I, I will try and make this short. So after studying the situation, um, we were both a bit, a bit sad of how, of how things are not supposed to be, supposed to be going, but of how things were, because I was, my, my pregnancy was very complicated, guys. It was very, it was very problematic. Um, it was very complicated. It was my first pregnancy ever. And I was so scared. I was so scared and it was very sensitive for me because I had just known that I could not I could not carry a baby full term and here I am carrying a baby and this is the the timeline and I am so sick. I I was going through this um very complicated pregnancy and I still have to be Omakoti back home and I was always tired and I was always crying because of how scared I was. I was really scared, like and then Kulila Loputi every night, like in the like I was in bed almost every night and Lelanga and Tumazin Trungu till six AM in the morning when I have to wake up and Yokotiza again it was really tough. And he could not watch all of that. And that's when we took the leap. Um we took the leap of faith and we were like it is nice. Um to to be learning all of this and to be educated in how to be a wife and how to carry yourself and all on in all of that jazz so things were the way they were the pregnant still linear was dumbi lendi indi 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 but like i was like a penguin guys kunzima i'm carrying a three disayongi disayiti disale disale kwa kunzima it was really tough that's when we decided to go to maybe this is maybe this is a sign for us to start to start small because we were not we were not prepared for this let us start small and see where it takes us and it took us to this um it, it took us to this small house that is suitable for a young couple that is starting out to start their own family it is a two bedroom house it has an open plan it has an open plan lounge with the kitchen i'm leading to the kitchen it has a passage that goes through the second bedroom and straight to the bathroom and our bathroom guys is not a big one it can only fit a shower a sink and a toilet and that is how small we started and then there is also this the passage on our left well 
I'm using the left because I'm looking at the camera at this point. And then there is a passage that leads to our double garage, our standard double garage. So that is how our house is, that is how our house is planned. A lot of things were prohibiting our plan from happening, but we stuck, we still stuck it through like the lockdown period like was not the easiest because things were also expensive i will get on to i will get into that when i am explaining the costs things were quite expensive people were, were were doubling prices because they knew you cannot go anywhere else if you cannot find it here you cannot source it from anywhere else but the places that were selling the stuff that we needed okay there's a, there's also a question from this guy he is asking, was my husband um, eligibly to move out as a man? Well, my husband is not the firstborn. So traditionally, most people, most people say or believe, they believe that when you are first born and you are a man, you're supposed to stay going and never move out and build your own home. Because that's how most people perceive indo your poem. But in our case, my husband is not the first born. And yeah so we were safe Woody. he can move with his wife and also our our brother-in-laws and their wives they also have their own homes so it was not going to be a new thing for us so yeah to answer your question yes he was traditionally eligible to move out and also i will just um add on that our process of moving out also included umkomboti that was on my previous video. When we were doing umkomboti the other day, um, even umkomboti was to announce that we are finally moving out, and our parents are giving us are giving us e blessings to move out and stay on our own and start our own family. That is that was the purpose of Lam Combo Sasu Sasu Wenzi like guys. So okay guys through the uncertainties the COVID we we pulled through Sa Kalisa our project started and to just to mention this before I can get I can get into the actual the actual the actual topic for today's video. Our house was built by my father in law. Dada Kahabi was the one who was building our house. He he did an amazing job, guys. Umdala, he's an old man. He is not supposed to be building anymore because Umdala and Uyakula. Sometimes I feel I feel I feel so I feel so bad. But he did he, he did an amazing job for us. He built us a beautiful home. So so came in Dada. Therefore, I may not be able to give you guys a insight that is very accurate when it comes to labor costs because our old man was building the house for us and this is my fee and this is how much i will be charging you guys it was never like that oh and also guys as i said on my previous video we are not even close to finishing that house so much needs to be done so much is outstanding and i just want to give you guys the information or the details of how far we have gone for the house to stand the way it is for us to be comfortable to move in whether it's incomplete or not so i will give you guys i will share what we currently have done and what we can be able to share at this point so you will forgive me if you will not have a total figure because we are not done so i will just give you guys what we have done and what we have um accomplished so i am now on the topic of measurements measurements for the whole house um the house is it is a 10 by 10. when hubby and i were were doing we're prepping for this video he advised that 
um, if a person would be interested in building a house similar to ours, for you to achieve this house perfectly, it would be very wise for you to add at least two meters from the 10 by 10 that we used because the 10 by 10 limited us so much when it comes to the bathroom. The bathroom part, I am still crying to this day that our bathroom will not be the actual plan that we had, but um, it's not a problem. It's not a problem because we didn't know and at least now we know. Our garage is, a as I said, is a, is a standard double garage and it is six by six. Okay, the passage is two by two. It is two by two. And yeah, that's about it. You can increase your measurements to the actual structure to accommodate both the house, the house plan and the roof plan. So another, also another thing, it bricks were very expensive when you started building. So during lockdown, they were about 14 rands, 50, 14 rand 50 is then M5 and the current price is 8 rand 50. So you can imagine how much these people were, were ripping us off. So we are now moving on to e roofing. E roofing, we used a super tile. I'm not sure if you guys um, are, are familiar with that. It's a super tile roofing sheet that we used. It was 600, 605. It was 605 rands, 605 rands for for each sheet. It's the long sheets. So it's the it's it's the long sheets that we used, and we 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 first bought 50, 50 pieces, which were not enough because of it of cuts. I will explain how this thing works. The this roofing sheet, ne? this super tile, the off cuts. When 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 you are cutting the off cuts, they are useless. You have to throw them away. So for you to think you will still reuse them for 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 other areas, it is not possible. We so ended up um buying twenty more to make seventy pieces. So we actually went on to spend on seventy pieces for your roofing. And as I said, they cost 605. So you will multiply 605 times 70 super, super tile roofing sheets. And um, another thing, e e parallel lines that we used. Zona, e set up here, so they are quite similar to that of e tiles. They are very similar. You can find the super tile on three different colors. They come in charcoal. You know, we, we went for charcoal because we wanted our house to be the colors that we got. It is in charcoal. You can, you can also find it in red. You can also find it in green. Those are the, the three colors that they had. And for the people that are in the Eastern Cape, we bought ours from Spugs and Nobo. And... They went out of stock when we wanted um, to add the 20. They were out of stock and it was the last batch that they had and they had not restocked. I'm not sure if that was the last time they restocked it or if they, they may have it currently. So we had to go and buy it from where they were buying it in Amtata, where they were stocking their, their super tile. We went on to get it from there, which was Amtata. A shop I will link Ikamale shop that we got it Mtata. Moving on to painting. We bought our paint here in Gauteng. Reason being we wanted to use Wikiram for our paint in interior, both interior and exterior. But we we were struggling to find the colours that we actually wanted. The color, we, were, we were certain of the colors that we wanted. However, the stores that we always use back home, which is with DIY, we use DIY, we use Build It, we use Cash Build, we use Umfundis. Is it Umfundis? Yes, I think so. So we use those stores and Buco. We also use Buco, but they did not have the colors that we wanted. We went back every time because we had to prolong the process because now it was going to be another issue for us to buy paint this side and drive down with the paint unless we were we were, were going home anyway so if we're going home it would have been easier but now we wanted to go home for the december holidays 
and the painting had already been done so now it meant that the painting had to be put on hold until we come home with the actual paint that we wanted which is what we did because they didn't have the paint even two months later when we went back to check we even asked them to stock it for us and keep it until we come and buy nothing the paint that we used was flexi wall and the color for the interior was why do i not have the name of the paint but it's the light gray i, I do have the the color for the exterior paint that we used it was Graham flexi wall in limestone so we used limestone for the for the exterior ram was um around 1000 we didn't go for for the for, for for the mixed for the mixed paint for the mixing option we didn't go for that one because it was quite expensive it was above 2000 for for the color that we wanted when we had to mix it but we ended up choosing something closer to the color that we initially wanted there. however it was a bit darker than the one that we wanted but we're still happy with it because we added on a white um, five liters into the 20 liters that we had just to mix it. So we were happy with the results. I will also show you guys a picture of uh, the results for the paint in like um, the, in the, the interior paint that was mixed with white. And then the outside limestone, it was perfect. We didn't have to mix anything. It was as light as we had wanted. And then our pillars or details, we used Uchako waterproof from Build It and we bought um, five liters. So we got that one from who Build It. It was 175, I think. Yeah. Moving on to the kitchen. It was 25,000 rands for the material and Ileba cost was that um he charges us 750 for equal out fee to come and do our measurements of our design and um yeah so it's design calculations and measurements basically on that 750 and then 50 percent 50 percent of material that's that's how he charges we are now moving on to tiling the cost for tiling he charges 90 rands per square meter and we had we had to buy 18 boxes of tiles and 14 bags of tylon and um two five kg grout i will bring in the cost for sealing separately i want to lighting lighting we bought our our bulbs our bulbs our strip lights our spot lights our pagan lights and our chandelier light um which is in the lounge we bought that one from decofin it is currently around 300 now but um when we bought it it was 549 i think in the pagan lights for the kitchen we got those at china mall they were quite affordable i think um for the three set for the three for the set of three um there were 6.99 for for the for the parent lights and then the spot lights we also got those ones from china mall and the strip lights we got them from china mall also they were quite um affordable and these strip lights it would depend how much how many meters we needed um depending on the measurements of our ceiling it depended on that and then also our um, daylight sensors we got those ones from diy but um they didn't last um they would just die like we would receive a call just maybe two months after we leave we leave home we get a we get a call that um there's a light that is not working um there's a light that is that is off from the back so we had to change them like just just over a few months and we got um good ones from build it and um for our garage as we said it is a standard double garage and um with that one we had an initial plan of having a nice gray aluminium door double double door ah! guys where are we going to find a twenty five thousand for an aluminium door where are we going to find a thirty five thousand for a for a double for a double garage door so i was like mm -mm, you know what we still have a long way to go we can chop and change as we go 
as we get money as we get um as we get comfortable with things and we, as we get sorted with our with our plans we changed our plan we diverted and we decided to build a pillar if you guys can see the house now the garage it has um a three pillar because we thought of separating the garage to make two single garage doors that's what i was trying to say and it was a success successfully we installed two garage doors and they were not that expensive but our plan was within the budget um each door cost us one thousand and something it was less than two thousand for each door and then labor was not that much and even that pillar was not that much so i had this plan of using um the natural stone cladding which um most houses have on the outside i thought of using that to to divide that garage but we came to a conclusion that what if we do that and then we think of having a double door sooner so yeah it was it was it was not going to it was not going to cut it but we decided to let, let's leave it there so we went we went with the plan that we currently have on now and it was perfect it was perfect for us it was perfect for our budget i want to get into the challenges that we had we had so many challenges which is what is which, which which is um expected we had the challenges of not getting things done the way that we had um hoped and um planned so that is one of the challenges it's not nice when you are not there because you cannot monitor every single step for things to come out the way that you want them but you are still going to pay it does not matter if you ask them to change it you paid for the material that had been used or for the stuff that had been used be it tiles be it kitchen be it anything it's not easy especially on things after like for, for the things post the building process so um i think i have covered everything that needed to be covered and i am hoping that i will be able to feature um a whole house video tour on one of the videos that i will be doing uh, maybe a vlog that i will be doing if i will be going home anytime soon i will try guys and get a full video the full video that i had for the whole house a clear video to to demonstrate how big and how small the bedrooms are and the bathroom especially that bathroom i really want you guys to see the space that we will be working with for our bathroom so that is where we are we are working with what we currently have and i promise to share the full house tour the clear details of the house on that house tour and i was also hoping to feature the back um the back view of our house and the side views for now we have the back view we have the front view the sides we do not have i will be able to correlate that um content for you guys on my next vlog i promise i promise i promise and yeah guys this house was unplanned as we said and it was it was a dream for a young couple that had just gotten married and we thought of having our own space we thought of having our own place where we can come back to and rest when we come back saying we're going away for a holiday or for a weekend to take a break should not mean you you are now worried about being for the first day you come back till the last day it does not mean that and you can still enjoy having e in Zako visiting your own home having e in Zako um welcoming you guys coming back and visiting them every now and then um i i visit them every every chance that i get because it's not that far it is far when you walk but it is not far when you have to drive so driving there and 
going there to cook supper for mama no dada it's really it's really been an, an amazing experience for us and having our daughter visiting them well our kids i'm um, visiting our ukraine sleeping over at ukraine for for a day or two and then um we go and fetch them it's been a pretty amazing um experience so far and i would advise i would really advise us young couples old couples anyone who is able anyone who is able to have their own homes it does not matter how far guys you, you you can be within the same town you can be within the same province you can be within the same country like it does not matter how far you want to build your own home and start your own family but i really 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 i really hope every couple comes to an agreement or will take blessing enough to be able to build their own home for abandon Ababo because we are not doing these things for ourselves only we are not that selfish to focus on ourselves on our own well-beings you know or our own successes no it's not about that we are building these homes for our own kids to have in to point when they are older and should anything happen abazuhlala bengayazi i uncertainties abazofesa nanazo when their parents pass on bengenamzi like it's it's i think it's the same mindset that we all have of owning houses even in bigger cities where where we are working it is it is it is fairly the same even when when we when we go to the eastern cape when we go to limbombo when we go to kz and when we go to wherever where they can be themselves where they can be themselves but the main point um of this of of, of of this highlight is the fact that in as a young couple well i've been read, i've been reading or i've been exposed to the saddest topics posts on social media where mostly young couples where they have these fights they go through these fights they are exposed to this hatred of um in-laws and all all of that jazz guys um i really think i get called on the chatella we over cap song and i don't think we're gonna um to um yen or chat um to um um to na bandu for um visa gabi um visa gap song i get called on the on the plane and when jalo and it goes it, it also goes for our in-laws i don't think they welcome us for them to, to treat us bad i doubt iba iba's intentions is about nama kubi njalo but in personalities they can clash families can also clash um and i think my advice to to a younger to a younger makoti or to a younger mieni that is about to get married or that is marrying or that is married pagama save it, it it does not matter how much you guys save it does not matter how big or small you guys want to save but pagama start planning start finding a land for umfazwako for abandon abago for family yako start working towards a plan where you guys will know what you guys are safe in a space is in avoid any issues that may come the avoid is again zeki no one knows if future yom chadoin no one knows how your marriage will turn out no one knows how your marriage will be accepted not only by family but also by ilali by surroundings by the village by the whatever whatever areas you guys are are based in or based at you do not know what circumstances you may find yourselves under if utiko has granted you guys a chance to watch this video i give you this find your own plot start saving a or eight corner or ronda is flat it does not matter how big it guys it does not matter how big it can be nina you know your situation you guys know what you have to put on hold to start planning for that um project start small 
uti uzalifuma ningiwa uza itata pi malio tengi ngiwa uza itata pi malio kwa haka anina mala nandoni those are the things that everyone understand but not everyone will be able to do what the next person did we all understand his circumstances can never can never be the same but given the chance do it and that's it do it for your own sake do it for your own for your own peace as well mna nothing pushed me like from 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 my side to say i i i apoma no guys it was never we 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 side elinjalo tina we were triggered by a pregnancy yeah mukuti there there may be more pregnancies coming along what will happen then will we be able to succumb to the situation of being umakodi ndi pregnant ndi ngakwazuvuka ndi ngafuna uvuka i hormones zidlala ngamzi sithi lala ngavoki so thetha namntu khala ngokuthi ningoku so we thought how about we have our own space so that when we do come home we go to that space we spend time as a family in a ceo and visit our in-laws whenever we feel like it bazos visitelo mama no tata nengi nanuka nezinene ne in-laws zethu whenever they, whenever they want to visit us we are happy family akho umuntu ulandukileyo uza unyathela omnye usi ku spaces sakho now we spaces sakho uza ukhula ngendlela ofuna ukhula ngayo emtshotweni wakho preserve your own peace preserve your own space kula nomntu wakho kula nabantwana bakho khulisa abantwana bakho in your own space it is allowed it is there to be done ba masiqali family zethu no one is is limiting us sokuthi you are not supposed to go and live on your own ayikho njalo if our parents my father my father in law and my mother in law could allow us to do it like very very early in childhood because because thina ukuqala ukuthi kwakha besingeka gxiba inonyaka ne 6 months sisi sichading but we decided let us start it does not matter when we finish and coming to a question was benini how long did it take it how long did it take us to finish the house as i said we started in 2020 lockdown happened e budget was not there savings were not there for us to 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 do this thing and finish it and move in um immediately so we ended up moving in in 2022 december we put e we approach it on hold so many times because we had to deal with so many new things that were happening that were happening in our lives so we decided to move out from the apartment that we were staying in and moved into a small apartment and um it was it was not it was it was not a good a good a, a good time it was not a good space but it was safe and we were just there as a family husband and wife no sana lwethu it didn't matter where we were staying as long as we had to, as long as we had each other that's all that mattered so four months later we are back into a big apartment um an apartment that we 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 would have liked to 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 stay in even during the period of building but we couldn't um we had to we had to let go of a lot of things we had to downgrade a lot and we had to most of all we had to put our our, our wedding on hold if you do follow me on social media um instagram or facebook or whatsapp you have not seen me posting anything about a wedding child because and ka chat You have not seen me posting anything about umchato mdakabawa because I have not done the ceremony umchato. I only completed the necessary things that I was supposed to complete so that we could finish the whole process traditionally that was needed. So that so Paul and plan ubumbethu which is now we have a home. Now we are now we are comfortable. Now we can start thinking what is next. Now our wedding is next and we have to sit down now and plan and budget and save for the wedding and anything that will follow afterwards and still save for our lives even after um chadoweto. And I think this whole process has taught us a discipline when it comes to saving and discipline when it comes to spending umuntu ngoku at least can say nagya kwam 
nza kwenzi sazi mzi kwa msu such things i think mna as 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 a as a posa wife they really pride into the young woman that i am at least i know i have contributed something towards your future yom chato wam i know i've contributed something towards your future abandona bietu and for that i will forever be grateful for the opportunity that that utiko presented to us and we did not look sideways and think where are we going to get a loan where are we going to borrow the money we used the salary that we had every month we bought what was needed on the spot we did not just send money from our savings pa 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 no we did not we would wait for 25 every month for us to to buy whatever was needed to add on whatever was um was needed so that's how our things went and that's how our process went and if you are interested in anything else that i did not touch on um the video you are welcome to comment and um you are welcome to dm me on instagram or facebook and if you are a friend of mine you are also interested in something you are welcome to text me on whatsapp wherever you are you would like to communicate um i am i am free to to answer to any questions that you guys may still have that i could not answer on today's video and for now i think we should end this video now i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please do not forget to comment share your thoughts guys share your experiences share whatever good or bad just um comment and share your thoughts in the comment section and also please do not forget to subscribe we are now chasing 2000 subscribers we are now on 1250 something i cannot remember the exact number i'm hoping you guys will stick around and help me build this community that we just that, that we just started things are looking good from your side guys you are really supporting me thank you so much thank you i really appreciate every one of you and i really appreciate the people that are sharing the videos i really appreciate the people who are sharing our page i appreciate everyone who is commenting and liking and please do not get tired guys our quality is not the best both picture quality and audio but i promise you i will find a way to work around our progress and our growth i will also be improving with experience on most things but i know struggle so kind of audio and picture quality but i decided to go to let me start this channel with a phone guys that i am currently using and not wait for tiko to give me a job or to for tiko to to bless my business to bless my businesses so that in zokwazo afford the camera i cannot afford a camera at this point and i cannot afford um and a more advanced phone that will assist us on picture quality um things like microphones and um earring lights those things can be affordable guys but it's those things that i i am trying to 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 get to so that i can improve there and there so that um we can be comfortable when watching and listening to our videos and not cringe every time something um something off is up so I really apologize for the for the for, for the experience that does not live up to our standards and I promise to put to to put on more more work into in into growing our channel so that we can achieve those things also. I am I am also I am also aware of um of a few things and also my editing um app I also am looking into other options but for now it is where we are i am still using the things that i'm currently using but i hope the content that we have your knife figure in this win it reaches the heart where it's supposed to go i really hope it i i really hope it pays for it pays for the bad quality and for the bad quality and everything else and i didn't want to sit on the content that um i may be able to put out there and wait for a blessing 
from from nowhere because i do not know when i would have started this channel had i had i waited for a miracle to have these nicer things and i didn't want to put in any money towards something that i am not even certain of because i do not know where, 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 where this journey would take me but now i am determined to to go in and i am ready to do all of that for you guys to give you guys the best quality so that we can enjoy our videos more and more i am so happy to see the ads on some of my videos it really makes me happy and i'm hoping some of you have been watching the ads and i hope you guys do not skip the ads because it is what makes this channel successful and on that note i am ending the video here and i hope you guys will enjoy it and i hope you guys will comment and tell me what is outstanding what i did not uh, what i did not answer if i missed the question that you had sent me i am so sorry i apologize in advance but do send me whatever you want to know I will answer you. the eight corner house two by two is the passage that links the eight corner main house to the garage two by two and then the garage still stays the same the six by six that meant um that we have a house of 256 meter squares and as i said if you guys wish to have something a little bigger than we did you can add that 10 by 10 maybe you can do it as 12 by 12 and um i think the garage can stay the same guys because that six by six is a standard garage and it is still it's big enough 
you know you you know what we noticed um you know how building is building is corrections after corrections and it's also it, it, it's also about preference if you prefer a single garage for your house so um that means your garage will be smaller of course and your measurements will be sl will be smaller than ours but when we when we studied the plan for this house especially from 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 other from other from other houses that we've seen um both on the internet and back home you would notice that having a smaller garage with a big um house which is the eight corner it 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 it, it, it honestly was not complimenting the house um to its fullest it it, it it would be beautiful but it did not complement the house to its fullest so we did not just um opt for the double garage because we we we, we have we have many cars um or we needed more space for cars but we really wanted to complement the house hence we really wanted that double garage whether the budget was within or not but the double garage was just to complement the house it is more beautiful when the garage is not too small some houses you would see that the passage is not there they omit the the passage most of the time and there is no passage so the eight corner is directly connected to the garage we didn't like that i hated it i just i just thought it was clumsy i just thought it was it was it it, it looked squashed as if the house was just pressed together to to form something that just didn't make sense like it just never made sense for me obviously it's preference again and it also comes with skill it does not matter how much you may you may put you may you may put in to, into your design skill will also play play a role and also another thing that you may note some other plans have a pointy roof um especially over eight gone tina we did not use the pointy roof because of how open our eight corner was we like um our eight corner was quite wide for for for, for the pointy roof that is also from this scale if your laborers would be able to to to, to make a pointy one perfect and if you guys love the corner the, the corner top that is also that is also perfect because um it is still looking it is also complementing the double garage the double garage roof um at the top and then yeah that is that, that is basically it on the on the measurements guys and i just wanted to clarify that and now we we do have a reprint of our coat um since we had our coat done here in in midrand um cash build in midrand so what we did we went back for a reprint just to see what we, we what we had ordered we gave them the same measurements everything the plan of the house i often come across people who ask how much would it cost me to build this house how much would it cost me to build a four bedroom how much would it cost me to build a one bedroom and so on and i find it very difficult to answer that question because um first of all the plan cannot be exactly the same because you may want something bigger because you want to accommodate your family you have a bigger family and you may want something smaller because you it, it is just you who wants to stay in that house so um it really varies on what is your preference and what is your requirement so according to our requirements for this actual house i will give you guys a breakdown of the cost according to our quotation that we had and um this will not be accurate 100 percent accurate because there were things that broke there were things that were stolen at some point and that we had to replace i will start to to mention i will just um go through what is included in our what is included in the quotation what we currently have is first of all ilanuki bricks our bricks were as i said we used m5 
and it is currently sitting on 850 for DIY. I know for DIY it's 850 and other stores differ. Um, currently Cash Build has their, their block um, concrete um, on 9 Rand 88 cents which is different from DIY in the Eastern Cape if you will be buying from there and if you will be buying from any Eastern Cape um, hardware then on their own including breakage they 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 were about 13,690 yeah 13,690 that's where the bricks um, are standing the blocks are standing um, and then the brick clay the brick clay which is clay brick for a foundation especially for areas that have uh, or if you want to avoid any any type of complications with rain for your foundation it costs 28,200 rand so I don't think I should go through everything guys I will take a picture of of the of, 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 of our quotation and then you can see what it looked like and then um, I see the plastering sand and concrete mix. It um, it cost usually concrete cost around thirty five thousand seven hundred and sixteen rands, and then the plaster sand. I think that's that's sand for plastering interior and exterior. It cost twenty thousand six hundred and eighteen, and then doors, windows. They are also mixed in here, and as I said, we use timber on our doors, and we also used aluminium for our windows. I did not mention electricity, guys. Electricity and um, and I also didn't mention Ibakla gates. I did not mention that. I don't think it is really necessary because it will also depend on you if you really need that. And if your if your area is safe, maybe you do not need them. So I did not include that. Mm. One last thing: is cement we used four pallets um four pallets and a pallet like a pallet um consists of 40 cements so 40 cements you multiply by is a pallet is four it also depend which cement you choose we we used afrisam at some stage and then um it was finished well it was out of stock since it was locked down they could not stock anymore so we ended up using this other weird name that i cannot even remember at this point um but yeah it will also depend which which one you prefer the building process is no child's play it is not easy by any chance and we all know and we all know that um as complex as it can be everyone needs it everyone wants it so if you do if you do get a way to save up that would really be a great way for you to start because you will have most of the material if not all of the material in place so that your people can work faster with everything already on site but i find it very scary for someone who is quite far when it comes to savings or someone who has not even started so i i spoke to i spoke to my partner like about this um when i when i when i when i presented this this thing about the video thinking that i need him to assist me with the with, with with the prices so i told him that i need the cost if he can if if we can work towards finalizing the actual cost that went into the whole project and he laughed at me he was like how can we do that how can we possibly do that how can we achieve that because you know how how we did our project it was not um, something that we, we could even calculate. Looking at the budget and then we would know that we spent this much and this is how much went into it. It is not an easy question that you can just answer um, quite easily and quite confidently. So I really hope um, with the breakdowns, the breakdown that I did, it will give someone an insight or an idea of how to go about it or how to plan going forward with the with with, the, with their plans so 
saying that you have 150,000 to build um it's not it's not that simple it's not that simple guys as you can see this this quotation on its own is already at 300,000 it is at 300,000 from foundation to bring it down to bring the walls up the wall up and that is it there is no roofing on this amount the roofing is not included on this amount so i hope that is quite clear also the roofing is not included i mentioned the cost of the roofing separately because we did that separately like another another year so make sure you do save if you have money to save whichever way you go or you go on about it but my advice take it one stage at a time if you have that 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 that, that two cents that you have that is perfect start your foundation that is all that matters start your foundation you will see the walls coming up once you see the wall standing there is no turning back keep on saving according to stages it does not have to be saving for the whole house my advice to you save according to stages make sure that um you have a goal if you're saying in 2023 i want to to see the i, I want to see the structure of the house or I want to see the foundation. Or I want to see is Dana's nuka. Do that. Don't don't stress about how much you have. Because um, it's not easy to have all the money in one place. Imagine if your coat, if your coat, if your coat is saying three hundred thousand, and it is going to be more. Definitely, it is going to be more because there is still a roof that you still need to do. There is still going to be labor that is that we are going to pay. There is still going to be lighting, electricity. Some places make you pay for the electricity, just like us. Since it was a new area, there was no electricity. We had to pay around 7,000 for a connection in Umbani, for ESCOM to come and connect us to Umbani. So imagine that, that is another money. You also need to plan around tiling whatever you'll be doing on your floors. You need to focus on your ceiling. You need to focus on many other things. Some people will go on uh, will go on for plumbing. We need to look at plumbing. The bathroom also needs to be done. There is also e built-in cupboards around the house. You have to start with your kitchen those costs are not included in this quotation so imagine how scary the quotation would have looked had we decided to include those costs and in labor is not even included here so guys it's not cheap to build but if you have fifty thousand, do not feel like you have not done anything work towards that fifty thousand and see what you get what you can achieve at this point Maybe you can buy bricks for now if they are going to be safe where you will be keeping them. Or you can even put in the money, go cash bill. Some people do that. They pay the money, keep on paying, open an account, go cash bill, and keep on paying until your material is at least halfway. Or maybe you are comfortable. I would advise that. Take it one stage at a time. If you're saying foundation, do your foundation. If you're doing the structure, do that. And if you're saying um, roofing, then you're saying roofing. And if you're saying you are, you are now, now you're plastering, plastering, you know, that's how that's how we did it. Tim. That's how it went. That's why it took that long because of, yeah, of how things were going for us. So it's not easy. It is, it is not cheap. So you can imagine how not cheap it was during lockdown if prices were doubled. So 
I would advise you to I would advise you to look into what you have work with it do not give it away do not use that money that you already saved and think ha huh, I am not even a quarter away from what will be needed here as long as there is something guys I believe seeing that foundation is is, is, is more than everything that you need is more it's more than enough so don't be sad and think uh, it's not gonna happen now it will happen when you are rich you know it's, it's not gonna happen when you're rich it's gonna happen now when you are you the person that, that wants to build it will happen when it is you still you rich or not so um you just need to be brave you just need to you just need to know that it, 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 it's really what you want I say go for it as long as you will have your own home and as long as you will have your own space I wish you all the best I love you guys I love you so much I love you my Magudumanas I'm joking guys I am joking I am joking I am joking my Gudugudus my forever Ninas peace out I love you so much I love you so much. I am learning so much about being in a community of people that do not really know you and learning that it is not always about knowing each other. It's about accepting each other. And you guys have accepted me. Most of you, but you have accepted me. And some of you have found in Leila to even communicate with me to say you miss me and to communicate with me to say thank you for this this inspired me I am really grateful thank you so much guys and I hope you guys will show this video some love give it a thumbs up do not forget to comment like and share mostly do not forget to subscribe thank you so much bye